What's up? I'm Zarina Akers, and welcome to These Pieces. I am a celebrity stylist and CEO of Black Owned Everything, and also an Emmy award-winning costume designer. So naturally, the first piece is the Golden Girl, my Emmy. I won this Emmy for my costume design work on Black is King with Beyonce. I think this moment, like for me, was when I started to live beyond my wildest dreams. You know, I had always, you know, had a vision for myself and saw myself reaching great heights. But after this, that's when I really started to live beyond my wildest dreams. This was actually, I think, the first piece I bought. It was by Jeremy Biggers. So it's paint on wood and the wood is cut out into this dollar bill. It just represented to me like having money and having no money, you know, like having that kind of last crumpled up dollar at the corner store, um, you know, so it kind of felt nostalgic for me when things actually cost a dollar. I don't even know what costs a dollar these days, but I moved this by the front door to kind of then prioritize like going to get it, going to get the bag, going to get the paper a little bit, you know? Then I got another little money piece right there, which is Oprah on a hundred dollar bill, which I thought it was just kind of funny. The next piece though, this is an original Patrick Kelly dress. Patrick Kelly was like the first black designer to show during Paris Fashion Week. And this is an original piece from his collection. He was known for buttons and really vibrant colors. I mean, this is special. Like I think maybe Tracy Ellis Ross has one. I don't really know even who else has one, but this is a really, really special piece. I actually want to frame it. So, you know, maybe next time y'all come back, I'll have his frames. Moving on to my dining room. I actually got this piece. It was hand beaded by a woman in African market in South Africa. She actually spent two months beating this entire thing. So I just wanted to bring back a piece of it. I'm a black woman that believes in, you know, arming herself. So this piece by Taha Clayton just spoke volumes to me. I always say she's like protected this window. Uh, and when you get into it, there's like these little butterflies and these tiny beads and there's just so much detail, but just so much strength, power and freedom and like the need to protect that freedom. This is from a black creator and it's just a print, but it speaks for itself. <laughs> This is a Mola, this print, I got it from my grandpa when he passed away. And uh, my family's from Panama, I'm first generation American, you know, so this piece was just special, you know, from the culture. And I always wanted to keep it present. Okay, so this is my happy yellow kitchen. I started this plate wall because I was inspired by the wall at St. Ambrose in New York City. It's a little cafe restaurant. So I started collecting plates as I traveled, even designer plates, you know? So some of these are Hermes and Versace. My assistant brought this back for me from South Africa and I got this one in India and these in Greece. I started introducing plates where they take artists and put their art, you know, on the plate. So there's a series of Candy Wiley portraits, and then that one's a Micheline Thomas and a Fornicetti. I just got some more. This is Lorna Simpson, Derek Adams, because I can't afford the real pieces yet, you know what I mean? So I just had to start somewhere. And this is such a special piece to me. I have this like deep appreciation for just African-American history. This for me represented, you know, just our history and how far we've come because there's a lot, there's a deep history around the watermelon. And I think we often get like this, like, you know, black people we eat fried chicken and watermelon. But the thing was that one of the first crops that we started farming was watermelon and it was actually super lucrative and healthy. So then they tried to kind of almost not demonize it, but make it seem like it was a poor man's fruit or only, you know, mammies and pickaninnies ate this, you know, that they would then affect the sales of the black sharecroppers who were farming watermelon, you know? So when I found this, I found this at like a fair, I just had to take it with me. All right, now to the office. 
This is where the magic happens, you know? First, I'll start with these Barbie dolls. I did a collaboration with Barbie where I got to style the icon herself. I mean, it's every little girl's dream. Listen, I, I grew up, I'm, I'm years old and I get to dress Barbies, you know what I mean? Like, come on. So she has a black on everything sweatsuit. I have a black on everything, which is a, a marketplace for black business. I mean, funny now I turned into her because I cut my all my hair off. But when I when I styled this Barbie, what was important to me was to represent uh, masculine presenting women. And I feel like there's just such an underrepresented part of our community, you know, and however they identify, queer, lesbian, straight, and they just like male clothing, whatever it is. Oftentimes, I think these women are, um, you know, the most smart, the most brilliant, you know, like in our community. And I think they just go far too underrepresented in the media in general. So that was my nod, you know, to the girls. I like to keep like nostalgia from my past works because I feel like everything kind of soon becomes a distant memory. You know, this illustration is from Chloe and Halle when they went to the Grammys for the first time. Beyonce going three times platinum for that album, you know, and just celebrating the work that I've done. This, I feel like, is like the center of the house. This is a Trevor Starman, a friend of mine, as a photographer out of South Africa. And this is just an image that he did. Took a risk by framing it with this kind of like hot orange and it just really made the image pop. And I feel like it was one of the first pieces I, I really put up and framed and everybody, you know, always tends to like gravitate towards this piece. Okay, so that was my final and last piece. Thank you for coming through and checking out my goods, y'all. All right, I gotta get back to work. Bye.